Oh, man. It's my first podcast, so I'm not sure what I can talk about. Uh, I don't want to get, you know, flagged or something, you know. So, hang on a second. And then I was, um, I was, I was accosted by a man in a hat. Mm, it was a big hat. And like a black brim hat, and he had other people with him. They might have been lizard men, or I don't think they were lizard men because they didn't hiss like snakes. You know, they didn't stick their tongue out. I mean, not right away anyway. But they held me down, and it was like I was pinned into the ground, I had like tentacles. It felt like there was tentacles probing every orifice of my. Body. Mm-hmm. You know, people don't understand this. What it's like to, you know, experience something from being on a flat earth because they think they live on a globe, you know. But I could prove the globe is fake right now in my podcast. But it's, I can't show you because it's only an audio podcast. We. I need to do a video, like, on YouTube. Like, I could do a video on YouTube or Vimeo. Yeah. Or, you know, Daily Motion in, or Facebook Live where I could prove the Earth is, is, you know, flat. Every map you see, the Earth is flat. And then, you know, and it's right there. It's right there. And then they have those maps where it's a globe. So right there, that tells you that there's, you know, they don't even know. They don't even know. And I was on YouTube looking up night people. You know, they come in your bedroom at night and like use their tentacles <laughs> probe your body and oh, the people in there. and he just keeps coming into your room and probing I'm here to tell you the truth I'm a witness that's why I'm doing these paranormal podcasts for all the people out there you know you gotta understand that it's not easy being me sometimes and I come across this channel and
Okay. No, it's just, I'm sorry that we had to take a break there, because I thought I heard something. I don't know what I heard, but I heard something, but I, I don't know what it was, but I was really nervous there for a minute. And uh, I live alone. I don't have a lot of friends, so I was hoping to make some friends on my podcast. And I noticed that this one guy, he talks to people on his videos, um, and he was, he did this video about the night terrors, and he was telling the bad guys to go away, and I really liked him, and then I saw a video on his channel on YouTube, where he was, maybe he was making fun of flat earth people, and he was like saying that, you know, maybe the earth wasn't flat or maybe it was and maybe he didn't understand it and he didn't know anything and he was arguing with people in the comment sections. I thought maybe we could be friends. And I don't know if we could be friends or not. And then I was like thinking, how's this guy know everything? And then I realized right there, <laughs> well, that's why. Yeah, you can't trust the Illuminati. They just, they like pretend they're your friend and they spread this information in their videos and their fake media and not fake news. Like, um, they tell you that you should like shower daily, but just like 40 years ago, people didn't wash their hair every day. And they know that, but they invested their dirty, filthy uh, Illuminati money into the shampoo industry. And then they started putting out shampoo commercials in the media, you know, the fake media. Yeah. And uh, that's how you know, that's how you know, like Kanye and Kim Kardashian are in the Illuminati. They invest all their money into, like, you know, liposuction to build bigger butts. And then they corner the market on plastic surgery. That's why they want all this. You know, they got, you know, Kim running around with butt implants and her dad's running around, you know, dressed up like a woman. You know, Bruce Jenner is actually a guy. He didn't even change his voice. And it's all because they cornered the market on implants. Mm -hmm. Illuminati. And there's this there's this guy running around, and he he, he jokes about it. You know, he, he like says he's you know it's just a big joke, but I he's he he thinks he's funny doing his podcast about Illuminati, but I can tell. I can tell he's real. I can tell it's real. Okay, I can tell. I can tell it's real. Okay. Yeah, he, he knows too much. He knows about the pyramids. and He makes the symbols, you know, the hidden little, you know, little symbols with his hands. And I, I won't do it here for you because this is just an audio podcast. So you can't see me though. I don't want to like, you know, I can't pretend I'm doing a you know, like a secret handshake. But, like, it's like when you go and you meet a, a, a priest, you know, especially in Pennsylvania, and he gives you, like, that handshake, and his little finger in the middle is, like, going, like, you know, he's, like, petting you in the middle. Yeah, like when Ted Stevens, I was in the bathroom at a bus station, and uh, Ted Stevens, Senator Ted Stevens, I think he's from Idaho, he was reaching under the stall, you know, saying, 
Hey there, good buddy. You got any toilet paper you can spare? Or maybe something else you'd like to put in my hand? I got a wide stance. I'm messy over here. Messy, 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 messy. I'm like, huh, huh? You know, like, night people. Night people are coming to get me. I can I'm in the bathroom. I'm not sure I'd see a guy with a hat on. You know, just waiting for him with his tentacles. Just wanting to put his tentacles all over me. <laughs> and then there's that, you know, there must be a thing with Ted's. Because there was that, like, little teddy bear that was really sexual deviant on the movies. And Ted Kennedy, he killed his secretary. Mm -hmm. So, you know, mm -hmm, you know. There's something about these Teds. And then there was that Ted Nugent, you know, he wants to kill you. He wants to shoot you. Ted Kenny wants to drown you. Ted Stevens wants to, you know, bugger you. <laughs> and then there's and the, the teddy bear. Huh? He wants to have drugs. And I don't know what he wants. And then there's the worst dad of them all. And I forgot his name already. Oh, Ted Haggard. Yeah, Ted Haggard wants to do meth. He wants to turn you into a meth head. So he can, like, what do they call that? Sex traffic, yeah. Yeah, for George Bush and the Lizard Men. I'm all over the place. You know, you never, it, it's just which, 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 which hole they want to fill. That's the side they're on. These Lizard Men and these Greys and these aliens, these bug eyed aliens. And these. Send them in black. Here. Did you hear that? Maybe it was just me. But I, I think we've got to, we got to keep the aliens from coming up from down below. The aliens are coming from up below. When you're in bed. Get inside your bedroom in the dark. And they use their tentacles to probe you, and hold you down, and then they pull you down into the earth. So when you think you're in an alien spaceship floating around, you know, with some far off extraterrestrial, you're actually stuck down in in the ground. You're down in the ground and there. That, that's why you can't move because you're stuck in the ground and they got their dirty dirty tentacles on you that's why your knees are always always dirty with you know and then then when they're done they put you back in your room and they and they give you candy and then they act like nothing's wrong yeah but we all know don't we we all know all about it don't we you can't trust those deads. Mm -mm. I heard a lot of things on Coast to Coast and that Alex Jones guy, but they don't know anything. They don't know anything. You know, I know because they're still walking around in the Capitol and they're still walking around, you know. And they act like they know so much, but they don't know anything. I'm telling you. And that's how you can tell because he's running around, you know, putting his arm around Mark Rubio like, Oh, Mark Rubio. Oh, you bathhouse boy. I saw it. I saw it on the fake news. CNN. And then there was the other fake news. Uh, the, what's it called? Huffington Post. And then the New York Times and Fox News. They're all fake. I get all my news from uh, the internet. You gotta search. You gotta go on the deep web. The deep web, baby. That's where you find out about the hollow, flat earth. It's hollow, but it's flat. And when you're looking out at the stars and the sun, you're not actually looking out. You're looking in, baby. You're looking into the universe. It's like we're flat. And you're looking in to creation. That's, see, they don't want you to know that. They don't want you to know that aliens live on the other side of the ice shield underneath the ground. 
there's a big hole in Antarctica. And that's, you gotta go down the hole. It's a nice warm hole. And it's, you know, the sun. And that's why they want global warming. See, because all this global warming is making the hole in the ozone bigger. So that they can fit more alien ships down in the big melted hole up north. There's, you know, so the global warming's actually helping the aliens. That's why the government keeps saying, keep driving your car, keep polluting the air, you know, because they want us to open up our holes bigger so they can drive right in there. Mm. And that's why they gave that tax break to the rich, because then they can afford bigger yachts, and their yachts will fit in that hole that they made up in the Antarctic so they can travel down through the hole into the subterranean lizard men gray alien kingdom where the night people live yeah that's right you didn't think about that did you this whole time they're telling us that the, you know oh the earth's not heating up it's not heating up it's not melting the ice yeah so they can put their big hole in the ozone layer. Then they can sneak all their spaceships past the radar. See? That's right. And then it's all over. The invasion's right here. That's why I'm doing this podcast for you, you guys. I want this podcast so that people can understand finally what I'm thinking about. You don't know what I'm talking about. The earth is flat, baby. But the worst part is it's hollow. It's like a big, it's like a pizza with a hole in the middle. Mm-hmm. You know how the pizza, in the middle of the pizza, is the softest part. That's the easiest part to put a hole through. The crust of the ice around the edges. That's the hard part of that pizza. That's your structure. That's how you lift that pizza up by the crust. But they go through the hole, baby. They burn a hole right in the middle. And then they just drive right on through that hole. You know, and, and then they're going to violate that hole. That's what they're all about. And I can't talk about it anymore. You know, it's just it's too much. I know it seems like I'm joking about a lot of things, but I think I'm keeping it even both sides. Because their both sides are corrupted by the Illuminati. They are. Both sides. And uh, you gotta follow the money. You gotta follow the money. You know. Why do you think Steven Spielberg makes all these alien movies? <laughs> yeah. That's why. That's why. <laughs> you, you know it. I didn't even have to tell you. Because you know. You knew why. <laughs> See? <laughs> yeah. I'm glad we had this conversation yeah. on my podcast. Because now you know the rest of the story. <laughs> Did you hear that? I keep thinking I hear something, but I don't know if I hear anything or not. It's kind of like, you know, I don't know. want to download my podcast and share it with your friends, you can, but don't share it with anybody from, uh, you know, I don't know, like, if they look like they've got reptile eyes, or if they wear a black hat with a big brim on it, you know, and they're asking a lot of questions, then they might be Illuminati, don't give it to them. Don't give them my podcast. Only give it to like, uh, you can tell people who usually are bald headed, um, uh, beards, bald heads. Mm. They don't work a lot. They're usually not working. Uh, they live in their mom's basement. Um, those people usually, they're the ones that are fighting back, you know, against the man, you know, and the man's deal. They're not taking it from the man. That's what you gotta share my podcast with. That way.
well, you know, they're on our team, you know, trying to turn all the men and the women and all the women and the men, and then, and then they, nobody can get a job, you know. I mean, I wanted a job 15 hours a week, and they, they were like, you know, we need somebody full time, and I'm like, I ain't your slave, man, right? 40 hours a week. Who does that? Who works 40 hours a week? I mean, what is this? You know, what is this Nazi Germany? What is this communist Russia? 40 hours a week. When am I going to play Underworld? You know, when am I going to play, you know, Final Fantasy 7? I got to get caught up on Dragon Ball Z. You know, it's like... I gotta go to Pod Pod PodCon in uh, Seattle in January. I ain't got time for this. Forty hours a week. I already bought the ticket, dude. <sighs> you know, like, what is this? Forty hours a week plus benefits. Who do they think they are? I just want to flip some burgers, man. I don't understand what's going on in this country anymore. And that's why I'm doing this podcast. Because I want to bring, like, you know, peace and tranquility and solutions. Real solutions. The answers. You know, I got the answers. They're all right here. And I, and I want to bring them to you. One. One. Uh, show at a time. You know, and if you want to support my podcast I have like a Patreon and a GoFundMe and I got a PayPal and you can just send me money in an envelope cash you know in an envelope I'll take cash my address is below um, I'll take lots of cash credit card you know tra traveler's checks are good um, I take food I will work for food or money I've had to hold that sign more than once in my town of Spokane. Uh, there's not a lot of traffic where I live. I live in a suburb, you know, my mom's basement. Um, it's on a cul-de-sac, so it's really a long walk to the closest highway. So I just, you know, walk down to the end of the street. And sometimes the kids will give me some of their um, milk money from at the bus stop. But I, you know, it's hard to get donations for my podcast. So I just, you know, I don't get out much. You know, you know, I, I don't get out much. And, you know, you know I, I don't want to tell you who I voted for. It doesn't really matter. Because, you know, I'm ready to give up. I really am. I mean, they're this hollow. There's aliens. What's that? What's that? trying to do my show and I keep thinking I hear something. Do you hear it? I don't know. Well, you know. Like, I was... I was uh, down at the mall and there was this old guys were walking, you know, the old people walking the mall, and I was wondering, you know, I was looking at the old ladies walking at the mall, and then 
there's some couples that are old men and old women. And then there's other couples that are, you know, old men. And there's couples that are just old women. And I was thinking, like, do they date? Like, do old people walk in the mall to date? Is it like a dating thing? Like a dating app for old people? Like a, a before the internet dating site for old people? I don't, I don't know, I don't, I don't know, but my, my grandmother was, you know, like, I wanted to live in her house, because she has, um, better air conditioning than my mom, but, and, but my grandma's boy toy, boyfriend, when, you know, he wouldn't let me live there. I can only stay till Thursday. Like, if I get there on Tuesday, I can only stay till Thursday. So, um, he, you know, she keeps him around because he does the pool. And, you know, he said I could go swimming in the pond. You know, he likes to make that joke. You know, the pond would be good for you. You know, you know, and... He thinks like I'm dirty or something. Like I haven't taken a bath for like a week. But I got I got news for you. I do take a bath, you know, like once, 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 once a couple times a week because I just don't shampoo every time because they give the money directly to the Illuminati. I think we've already been over this. And uh, I wash my sheets a lot to get the spots out. Um, I'm, you know, I'm ashamed of myself. But, you know, I'm lonely. I'm really, I'm really lonely. And, uh, you know, I don't get out much, um, so I watch a lot of stuff, you know, that maybe, well, you know, might not be for family viewing, not Disney type stuff, even though I do like Frozen a lot, and Tangled, um, was nice. Uh, I like Frozen, especially when they sing, you know, um, that song, Keep It In or something, what's the song? Let It Go, that song, Let It Go, you know, like, when she's in the library, right before uh, Beast, you know, Beast comes in to the library, and she's reading all the books, and she says, let it go, you know, in the little teapot and the tea kettle are sitting there you know mommy and the baby and um, the little clock guy and the candelabra are singing you know be our guest and she's like no let it go you know and she's trying to p put the books under her petticoat and sneak out of the castle you know so she can escape back home to the, you know, her boyfriend who believes in the Second Amendment. He's got a gun. Um, Gatso? Gaston? Gaston? And Gaston's really sexy. You know, he's like a real macho man. Hmm. Yeah, and she's like into that, you know. The whole Gaston thing. And that's, that, that's the whole Frozen thing, because she's, like, frozen away from her family. And her dad gave her up, you know, so he could get some money. And then she just wants to read the books, and, you know, because she's at the prison library doing the whole, you know, 
tattoos on her fingers, you know, love on one hand and hate on the other, tattooing her fingers. And Gaston's like, you know, don't give up, baby. Don't give up. You know, we'll have a conjugal visit. And next time I come to prison, you know, I'll bring my gun. I'll break you out of prison. And, like, then he shows up and Beast, like, disarms him because he knows karate. And he throws this, uh, snowman's at him. And he, like, slips off the roof. And Gaston's just about to die. And he throws a knife into Beast's back as he falls. And Gaston lands on the snowman on the ground and lives kills the snowman because the snowman's bad and frozen uh, and then he's played by the same guy uh, is the other guy in that other movie and then you know he, he's, he wipes the snow off of his boots and the beast stabbed in the back falls down and dies and then Gaston is transformed into a prince and the little candelabra guy turns into a priest and marries him. And then she can have the library and he opens up the prison. See, everybody was in prison. Like the little teacup and the saucer and the little kettle and the armoire and the uh, little clock, the little tiny clock guy. They were all prisoners under a spell in prison from the beast who's the devil. See, 666, the mark of the beast. That's what that was all about. The mark of the beast was 666. 666, mark of the beast. That means you're Illuminati. And when Gaston killed the beast, revelations, revelations, okay? Revelations, it's all in the Bible. When Gaston freed all the people in prison, then um, they all turned back into humans. And some of them were gay, and that's okay. Like, the one guy was gay, but that's okay. And then he ran around, you know, they kept talking about it. It's like, well, he was in prison, what do you expect? <laughs> they were in a satanic prison, you know, he went a little the gay way. What's wrong with that? You know, we've, we've all done things in lockup, in county lockup, that we're not proud of. And they never give you their number. <laughs> and anyway, so, where was I? Back to the podcast. Okay. So then Beast freed everyone, and then all of the hidden knowledge in Beast's library was set free by the frozen princess and they all lived happily ever after again and then I like the part in Tangled when they put the candles inside the paper balloons and they fly them up in the air and the paper balloons catch the wind and they go off and hit the mountainside where the pine trees are and they burn down all of Beast's kingdom just beast lived up in the mountains with his prison house, like his prison castle. And the smoke from Tangled, when they burned all the little paper candles, floated up in the air and crashed into the pine trees and burned down the whole mountainside. And when it did, then it killed Beast because he suffocated. That's the, that's the other Disney story. And then the princess ran out the back door and escaped. See, they they tell you these stories. They act like they're little kids' fairy tales. But there's actually some truth in them. You know, you got to look for the truth. The Illuminati is out there. I'm beginning to think, you know, this guy knows something about the Illuminati. He just seems like he knows too much. So next time you're watching a Disney movie, you know, look at it a little different way and maybe you'll see what I'm talking about because it's all out there. It's all out there. It's all out there. You, you all think I'm joking, but it's it's there. Now, a lot of you are thinking about unsubscribing 
from my channel because of this podcast, but give me a chance because I think I slagged everybody pretty evenly. Maybe. I don't know. But, uh, you know, because I'm trying to tell the truth. And the truth is out there, you know. It is. You know, there's hidden secrets. And I got a, I got an X-File poster from the first X-Files movie. And I got a trailer for the X-Files movie. And there's a hidden message in it. I'm not making this up. I actually have a video piece of film from X-Files the movie. I do. I really have a real piece of film. And it's got a gold, gold Illuminati digital sound on it. And you know what that's all about, right? That's where they put the hidden messages. So, you know, you take a record and you spin it backwards and you can hear Paul is dead, Paul is dead, and all that stuff, you know. Like, you know, Satan, 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 I'm back masking a record, right? You used to, you take the thing off your record player and you play the record backwards and you can hear all the hidden messages that they put on the record, you know. Like that, you know, and it's like, Shooting, shooting, like Led Zeppelin. Yeah. Mm hmm. ACDC. Mm hmm. Yeah. And uh, then, and uh, Judas Priest, right? Mm hmm. Like that, you know? Yeah, the Beatles. <laughs> Everybody knows John Lennon was part of the Illuminati. That guy took a couple shots at him. He's still in prison. What's that all about? You know? Yoko just had his... His uh, parole denied. Well, <laughs> come on. We all know what really happened, Yoko. <laughs> anyway. Uh, if you play a video film... some hidden messages on my next podcast. So until then, you know, flat earth, hollow earth, it's hollow, flat earth, it's, it's flat, but it's hollow, and underneath is where all the aliens live, and the lizard men, and the night people, and that's where hell is. Hell. open in your ears wide open in at night put in, uh, plugs in I put a plug in all my orifice all my holes to keep them from getting to me it works it works pretty good so okay that's my podcast um don't forget to check out all the links below download uh Tell your friends, sharing is caring. Sharing is caring. And my next podcast will be about the X-Files. And the, yeah, so I told you that already. So why are you asking? Why do you keep asking me questions? This is my podcast. What side are you on anyway?